Mr. Clare here for Clare Maths. Today we're going to be looking at changing the subject of a formula. This is everything in National 5 Maths, changing the subject of a formula. Let's just get started straight away. All these examples are taken from my excellent website, maths.scot, if you need anything for your revision bit. So, example one, these, remember, are taken from maths.scot, which is an excellent website, so get that if you want some extra revision help. But change the subject of the formula y equals mx plus c to x. So changing a subject just means to make x the subject, so it says x equals at the end. So it's like solving equations, except your answer will be algebra instead of a number. So I want x on its own, so I need to eliminate the c, so take away c for both sides. y minus c equals mx, and then divide by m because it's next to x. So y minus c, now I'm going to not write divide because I'm dividing the whole thing, so a fraction over m equals x. Or if you prefer x equals y minus c over m, which is more standard, and we're done there. So by Lecky, the Educational Publisher for Scotland. Today we're going to look at practice workbooks for National 5 and Higher Maths. These are just £5.59 when you use the discount code CLEVERMAFS at leckyscotland.co.uk and these are excellent because they have lots of questions topic by topic by topic. So as you're working through the year, you can revise and practice any topic you want and make sure you are comfortable with that topic. But also when it gets towards exam season, a practice exam paper right at the end to make sure you're ready for your exams. Just £5.59 when you use the discount code Clever Maths. The links are in the description and down below. Example 2, change the subject of the formula to e, e equals mc squared to m. So e equals mc squared. I want m on its own, so I need to divide by c squared because it's next to m. So e over c squared equals m, or more better, m equals e over c squared. And we're done there. Change the subject of the formula e equals mc squared to c this time, not to m. Almost did the same thing again. So e equals mc squared. But I want c this time, so I need to divide by m. So e over m equals c squared. And then the opposite of squaring is square rooting. So that means that c is the square root of e over m, or c equals the square root of e over m. And we're done there. Example 4, change the subject of the formula v squared equals u squared plus 2as to a. So we've got v squared equals u squared plus 2as. That's the equation in physics for final speed equals initial speed plus 2 times acceleration times displacement, but you don't need to know any of that. So we are going to, well, let's see where the a is. It's next to this 2 and s, so I'm going to have to take away u squared first of all. So v squared minus u squared equals 2as. So a is attached to 2 and s, so divide by 2s. So v squared minus u squared over 2s equals a. Or if you prefer, a equals v squared minus u squared all over 2s. And we're done there. Example 5, change the subject a equals b root c minus d to c. So let's write it out, a equals b root c minus d. So the c is attached to a root and a b, so I'm going to have to add d to both sides to start with. To isolate it, a plus d is b root c. Now I can't make c the subject straight away, I'm going to have to make root c the subject and then square at the end. So divide by b, a plus d over b equals root c. We can now square both sides. So if I put this at the side, I've got the whole of this squared, a plus d over b, all squared. And if you square a square root, you get back to what you started with, so that's a c. So c is a plus d over b, all squared. And we're done there. You can rewrite it with the c on the left if you prefer. We get to example 6. Change the subject of the formula r equals s minus t over 4 to t. Let's write that out. s minus t over 4. We want to change to t, but we've got a fraction to start with, so it times both sides by 4. To give us 4r is s minus t. So we want to make it t the subject, so we're going to take away s to get the t on its own. So 4r minus s is minus t. Now that looks a little bit of a problem. 4 minus s is minus t. So minus t means minus 1t, so I need to divide by minus 1.
So if that's going to give me, let me just write this out, 4 minus 4r minus s over minus 1 equals t. But you can't leave a minus 1 in the bottom, you can't leave any minus in the bottom. So I divide both by a minus. So that's minus 4r and minus s divided by minus 1 is plus s equals t. Now you could rewrite that in lots of different ways. You could write s minus 4r if you prefer, but that's fine there. Okay, example 7. Change the subject of the formula ax plus bx to c equals c to x. ax plus bx equals c. And I want to change it to x. Well, I've got two x's, so moving the things around is not going to work. I only want one x. So I can factorize. If that happens, it's moving one of the things you want. Factorize. x is a common factor. a plus b equals c. So now I can divide by everything next to x, which is a plus b. So I get c over a plus b. And we're done there. Nice and simple. Example 8. This is SUA National 5 Maths 2014, paper 2, question 11. Change the subject of the formula s equals ut plus a half at squared to a. So where's my a? It's there. So I'm going to need to take away ut to start with from both sides. So I can write s minus ut equals a half at squared times everything by 2 to get rid of that fraction. So 2 lots of that bracket equals at squared. And then finally, divide by the t squared because I want a to s minus ut all over a t squared equals my a, or if you prefer, a equals 2 s minus ut all over t squared, and we're done there. Example 9, SQA National 5 Maths 2016, this time, paper 2, question 12. Change the subject of the formula L equals root 4kt minus pk. Well, it's stuck under a square root. Of the thing is, so I'm going to have to square both sides. So step one, L squared equals 4kt minus p. And now I can go as normal. k is over next to 4 and t, but I've got a minus p, so I add p to both sides. L squared plus p equals 4kt. Let's just zoom in a little bit. So now we can divide by, we're changing it, remember, to k. So 4t. So divide both sides by 4t. So that's L squared plus p all over 4t is equal to my k. Or you can write, if you prefer, k equals L squared plus p over 4t. And we're done there. Example 10, SQA National 5 Maths 2017, paper 2. 1 question 10. Change the subject of the formula f equals t squared plus 4b over c to b. So we've got a fraction with c on the bottom, so times both sides by c to start with, I think. And that'll just give me f and c. fc equals t squared plus 4b. Okay, good. So now we need to change to b, so take away t squared. f c minus t squared equals 4b. Zoom in a wee bit. And then we need to get b on its own, so divide by 4. So f c minus t squared all over 4 is equal to b. And we're done there. Now you can obviously change it to b equals, but we'll just leave that there, I think. Example 11, SQA National 5 Maths 2018, paper 1, question 14, had this one. Change the subject of the formula y equals g root x plus h to x. So g root x plus h. The x is stuck under a root, but I've got a plus to start with. So I'm going to take away h to get y minus h equals g root x. And then I need to divide by g. I'm going to have to make root x a subject before I square. So y minus h over g is equal to root x. And then finally, we can square both sides. So the whole of that squared, looks messy, but it's right, equals root x squared, which is just x. So we're done there. Example 12. SQA National 5 Maths 2019, paper 1, question 7. So this one says, the area of a trapezium is given by the formula a equals a half h x plus y. Make x the subject. Well, it's stuck inside a bracket, so I can expand first, but I think that I like to get rid of fractions first. So I'll times both sides by 2. And that'll just give me my 2a 
equals my h bracket x plus y. And now I'm going to have to expand to get that x out. So hx plus hy. And now I can begin. Take away hy to get hx on its own. 2a minus hy equals hx. So I've just took away hy for both sides. And then divide by the thing in front of x, which is h. So 2a minus hy all over h is equal to x. And we're done there. Example 13. S Green National 5 Maths 2021 Paper 2 Question 10. It's this calculator, by the way. You're not going to be using a calculator. So change the subject to h. So I need it's stuck under a square root. Square both sides. d squared is equal to 3h over 2. Now times by the denominator. 2d squared then is 3h. And finally divide by what's in front of h, which is 3. 2d squared over 3 equals h. And we're done there. Example 14. S3 National 5 Maths 2022, paper 1, question 7. Change the subject of the formula d equals b plus 4 over c squared to b. So I need to times both sides by c squared to get rid of that fraction. So dc squared is b plus 4. Take away 4 then for both sides. So dc squared minus 4 is equal to b. And we're done there. Example 15. S Green National 5 Maths 2023, paper 2, question 7. P equals a third MN minus R to M. So I'm going to have to add R to both sides to get the thing with M on its own. So P plus R is a third MN. Times by 3, get rid of that fraction. So 3, all of P plus R, so it's in brackets, is MN. And then divide by the N. 3. P plus R over N equals M, and we're done there. Example 16, A Screen National 5 Maths 2024, Paper 2, Question 6. Change the subject of the formula F equals 2D plus 3 over E to D. So I'm going to have to times by E to get rid of that fraction. So F and E is equal to 2D plus 3. Take away the 3 then to eliminate that and get the 2D on its own. So Fe minus 3 is 2D and divide by 2. So finally, Fe minus 3 divided by 2 is equal to D. And we're done there. Hopefully you found that useful. This has been Claire on Maths and today we've done National 5 Maths changes subject of a formula. I'll re-edit this video later, but take care, stay safe, and goodbye.